Hi everyone, so today I want to make a follow-up video on the biggest number you can make with three digits or symbols. So basically, um, the reason for this is I forget to mention something quite important regarding the rules. So anyway, um, as you know, I've made uh, several videos before on uh, what's the biggest number you can make with three digits. Uh, make sure you watch those first before watching this one. Uh, because there's many spoilers here but anyway what is this about so basically the rules are you can use you can pick any number or symbol uh, of course you can pick from zero to nine and then uh, any basic well-known symbols such as plus minus times divide or factorial sign the up arrow or the chain arrow Something like that, um, no makeup symbols, you cannot make up your own. And importantly, um, I forget to mention, you cannot use G or any letter that related to some very, very big number. So G obviously is uh, the G sequence, a G function from Graham's number. So a lot of people already commenting, they said G of G9 or G99, something like that, way bigger than any number I mentioned before or in the previous videos. So obviously, I would say this is not allowed clearly because I already know that way before, years ago. Um, because G is not an actual standard big number notation, you know, uh, compared to up arrows or chain arrows, those are standard notation for representing big numbers. But G is not created for representing big numbers. It's G is just something people use, you know, um, you know, because it's related to Graham's number. Graham, Ron Graham himself actually didn't invent G, 1, G, 2, G, 3. In his original proof, he, he didn't even use G. He just said, you know, there's 60, 64 levels, that's it. So I would not use G. Another reason for that, because people can obviously use T for tree. So they can say T99 or T of T99 or T of T9. That would be tree of tree 9. So I would not... Uh, allow for that. Same for R. R can be used for rails functions, so R of R9, clearly way bigger. So I would not allow using like G, T, or R from uh, other function or BCB for in this case, you can use this symbol BCB for 99, probably very big as well. And of course, no infinity. I did not mention that as well. You cannot use infinity or any ordinals, omega, epsilon naught, or on of no, on of one, etc., and etc. So those are very important. You have to use some actual notation, <laughs> not from some other functions. So anyway, um, of course, my first video, this is the enter. Although many people, you know, they, at first they would thought 999, but of course you can do something much bigger, such as 9 to the 9 to the 9. But actually this is the answer for my first video, and of course some people quickly um, recommend some big, much bigger answer. Of course you can do something like this, but these two just equal to 9 to the 9. So my second video, uh, of course, some smart commenter, they brought this up 999 nine, nine, to the left instead of to the right like this. So what is this? This is pentation. So this is basically equal to 9 triple arrow 3, which is pretty big, way bigger than this number over here. Um, so this is something like this. You can read this yourself. Um, but of course, after my second video, after a few months or a year, another several smart commenter they said there's a bigger way to do that and it turns out to be this number over here using the Steinhaar Moser notation so nine in two circle um, you know because circle would count as a symbol I would I would agree with that I let I would allow that because circle notation or Steinhaar Moser notation is actually a standard notation unlike G or tree so basically this is the definition here you can read that yourself um, so how big is nine in two circles it's pretty big um so nine in a circle is around three i mean nine triple arrow ten and nine in nine circles is around ten i mean nine four arrows ten so obviously this number is somewhere between these two numbers i would say in the around in the area of g1 so pretty big number much bigger than this number but however as long as i mentioned this in my previous video um this is the follow-up video of that a lot of commenter, of course, they use G or, or Rayo, something like that, but that is not allowed. You cannot use infinity, but they, I think one of them brought this up, which I agree, actually. So this is related to the BEAF, the very powerful <laughs> BEAF, so A and B, something like this. What does it mean? It means 
In this case, of course, you would use 9 again. So 9 and 9 means uh, bracket with 9 nines in here. That is what it means, 9 and 9. This is, I believe, the linear array notation in the BAF. So how big is this number? This is way, way, way bigger than uh, this number over here, even way bigger than Graham's number, way bigger than Graham's of Graham's number, or G, 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 G with G64, Gs, something like that. In fact, it's around, um, the size of it is around, this is, of course, in the fast going hierarchy, is F of omega to the power of 7, 9. This is an approximation. And as you know, in my, one of my previous videos, I will tell you uh, the chain arrow notation. So 3, arrow 3, arrow 3, da 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 da, with n3 is the growth rate. This is around the maximum growth rate of the regular chain arrow notation is around f of omega square n. So clearly, this is kind of way beyond something even like this. And this number is already far, 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 far beyond g, 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 g with g64, g's, g64. So this is how big this is. This is the BAF. So I think this would probably the biggest, uh, I mean this one, this is the biggest three digit number so far. And of course you can feel free to leave um, your, your comment or your answer in the comment section if you can beat this number. Um, again, you cannot use G or, 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 or tree or something, something like that. But again, even like, G of G, G, G9 or G99 or G9 of 9, something like this, it would still be way, way, way smaller than this. So this is, uh, I mean, getting harder to beat, but you never know. Anything is possible. Again, you can only use standard notation. You cannot use busy beaver or a tree or G, something like that. Uh, it has to be a non-biased so a regular function used to represent big numbers, not just, you know, a function you know, uh, came from another big number. Anyway, um, thanks for watching and have a nice day.